I S U P K. children of the most high and we out here teaching that the white man is the devil that the bible speaks of man you understand the white man is devious if i may before i go into the scripture right when i was standing over there this uh recording white man would come up to me man and ask me would you rather i stand behind you would you rather i stand behind you so you can record no white man i don't want you to stand behind me man i don't want you to stand beside me i don't want you to stand behind me I, here come come on, cap he asked me if he should stand behind me i don't know what he thought or what he thought it was, but he asked if he could stand behind me. I said, I don't trust you in front of me or around me in the neighborhoods nowhere. Why would I trust you standing behind me, man? This scripture right here, this scripture right here is precious for what that white man tried to ask me, man. You understand? Read that for me. Let me know where you are. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. Uh -huh. Never trust thy enemy. Never do what? Never trust thy enemy. Man, I wish, I wish he had a Bible on this so I could show him. This white man asked me, the, the white man is my enemy now. He is saying he's an enemy to the black states in the Hispanic community, man. He's an enemy to my people. And he gonna ask me if he can stand behind me while I was recording. No, no, sir. I need you on camera right here in front of me so I can see every wicked thing that you're doing, man. Right. You understand? Read that one more time on the top. Very slow. Never trust thine enemy. Uh-huh. Never trust thine enemy, man. So I don't trust you behind me. I don't trust you over there. I don't trust you here. I don't trust you in the chair. I don't trust you anywhere near me. You understand? I'm never gonna trust my enemy, man. And I'm gonna say that to my black snakes in the Spanish, man. Keep going. For like as iron rusted, uh -huh. so is his wickedness. As iron rusted, so is his wickedness. The brother brought it out before me, man. The brother brought it out before me that as iron rusted, you understand? So does his wickedness, man. So it only gets worse. It only gets worse. They're not taking a the detox. They're getting worse and worse. You understand? They're not letting up their foot. You understand? That's why with these brothers, you get on that one. Uh, that's why what these brothers was bringing out was so heavy, man. The brother in the beginning was bringing out everything that's a snare, you understand, about the black community, man. The, brother, the brothers before me was bringing out the things that we need to fix in the black community, what our sisters and what our women is wearing. You understand what our children are doing? Ain't no way in the world our children that's two years old should be twerking and you recording it and putting it on social media for all these devils to see, man. Ain't no way in the world two, three, my daughter ain't never gonna be doing that. Salaki. So the, the brothers you see before you, let me tell you something. Back in the day, back in the day, and I'm a young brother, but back in the day, our, our brothers and our sisters, by the time you was a child, you got in trouble in the neighborhood, you got in trouble at school, by the time you got back home, your father or your mother already know about it. Your father and your mother already know about it because we had a neighborhood where we cared about what our sisters was wearing on their way home. We cared about if they had protection. protection. We cared about what our brothers and sisters was doing. And if you got in trouble as a kid, by the time you got home, your folks already knew about it, let alone if you got a whooping by this person, and lecture by this brother and sister on the way there. That's how our neighborhoods used to be, man. But we didn't let America's wickedness creep into our neighborhoods, man. You understand? These brothers you see before you today, them them type of brothers. You understand? You can call us party poopers. We'll call it what you want. But the party that we throw, we gonna make sure that no sister gets raped or harmed or molested. The party that we throw, we gonna make sure in the corner over there there ain't no brother getting high. You understand? 
You understand that the parties that we throw, we gonna make sure none of this wickedness gets done. So like, I'm about to give you, you understand? You can pull uh, 11 and 15 in Ecclesiastes. You understand? Ecclesiastes, yeah. 11 and uh, 15. You understand? We not letting none of that happen, man. Ain't no way we letting our children or ourselves celebrate some white man's wicked holidays, man. You understand? The rain did something very helpful for us yesterday, for the black people. You understand? We got some sense. The sisters got some sense. They spent $150 on some tracks, on some bazillion or something. That rain coming down, they putting on, the brother brought it out about the thought of tire. That rain came down, they heard that thunder coming from the Lord. And they went inside quickly. They said, no, my tracks mean too much to me. That rain, I said, I said, bro, I could throw you how well y'all was shot to that rain yesterday, man. You understand? Rain down on your parade. You understand? That's what I said, because when, when that rain came down, all I see is sisters going back inside now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Them firecrackers, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't light up no more. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They're getting nice and wet. You understand? And let them white people stay out there and light their firecrackers. Yeah. You understand? Let them, let them keep riding their firecrackers and be a wet dog in that rain, man. You understand? Yo, we be talking about that we wasn't, a, uh, that we not in slavery no more. Well, how come the things that are done to us today are the same things that was done to us back then? Right. How come on July 4th in 1776, the only firecracker that black, black, that black people heard was bodies dropping, was that whip, was bullets. And in July 4th of 2019, we're hearing that same thing. Bullets, bodies dropping. You understand? We're seeing the same thing go around, but yet we're going to sit here and say that we're not in slavery? The same thing happened. You understand? That white man is the same white man back in 70, 1776 and so forth on. And all the way up to the day, man. You understand? You got that scripture? All right, go ahead, Reeves, you got it. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 15. Uh -huh. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. One more time. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, black man. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We would understand not to be doing the things that America wants us to do. You understand them? The brothers brought it out before. They plant the drug and they wait for us to take it. They plant the drug, they wait for us to sell it. They wait for us to smoke it. They wait for us to be Lord in them, high, confused, blinded to all of their wickedness. When their wickedness is right in front of us. Ain't no way in heck that we should still be saying that we not a slave. We gotta wake up, black man. And we gonna show you that. So you can call us the party poopers, but we them brothers that's gonna check on our brothers and sisters. And check them on what they were. And check them on this. Ain't no way in heck you say we not in slavery. But the but the Hispanic uh, the, the Hispanic brothers and sisters and families over there at the border are in cages. There's no way you can't say we're not in slavery, man. We got to come back to our uh, to our what? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We got to come back to our wisdom, uh, knowledge, and understanding, right? Now hold that for me. Give me Deuteronomy four and six, right? And we are gonna find out what's our wisdom, what's our knowledge, and what's our understanding. Our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is in this Bible. It's not just some magic book. But we can take it as that because we can see the magic that, this, that the truth can do. You understand? We're not seeing that magic in the Christian church with Pastor Paul Child. We're not seeing that magic in the Roman Catholic Church. Why? Because they're not teaching you the truth. They teach you the truth. That money gonna go out the window. That money gonna go out the window. You understand? Go and read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter four, verse six. Uh -huh. Keep therefore and do them. Uh -huh. For this is your wisdom. For this is your what? Your wisdom. For this is your what? Your wisdom. Uh -huh. And your understanding. But this is your wisdom and your understanding. Keep on do them. It's talking about the law, statute, commandment. When I talk to a Jake in the world, brother and sister in the world, black brother and sister in the world, that's on this tall child's charts right here, I tell them the first thing I say is you got to take your feelings out of it, man. You got to take your feelings out of it and see the righteous thing that's in this law. Black man, native man, Hispanic man. You understand? We can't keep thinking that we know what's best. When right here it says what's best. So we got to take our feelings out of it and hear that your woman should not be dressed like that. Your woman should be, her, all her goodies should be for you. When you get off that 12 hours, uh, that 12 hours shift, or whatever you work, when you get off, you get home, that's all you. You know your eyes have only seen that. That's a nice gift waiting for you. You understand what I'm saying? This is our knowledge, wisdom, understanding, man. Go ahead, go back to uh, You understand? Go read that for the top, Ecclesiastes 11, 15. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11, verse 15. Uh -huh. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Of the law are of the Lord. Hold on, slow that down. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are what? Are of the law are of the Lord. They are the law of the Lord, man. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the law. You understand? Read that one more time. Wisdom, uh -huh. knowledge, and understanding of the law are of the Lord. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the law is of the Lord. So you're not hating what I'm saying, man. 
You not hate what we say. How can say uh, Galatians 4, 16? Don't hate me because I told you the truth, man. Because it just said right here that wisdom, the wisdom understanding, you understand, is of the Lord. It's a beautiful thing. That's love. The hate that we have for our enemies is the love that we have for our people. It's very simple. You can't love the rapist and, and the raper. You can't scream, keep screaming. Love everybody. Bring it in. Give me a hug. Squeeze it out. You can cry on my shoulder. We can't keep saying that when we, when we should be well, we should be telling our brother and our sister about our enemies. That is right in front of their face. But we can't keep continue to want to be a part of America's wickedness and lust filled kingdom, man. Drop down to uh, 19 to 20. You understand? These brothers were bringing out something heavy, man. It wasn't nothing but the truth that they was bringing out about this about this wicked beast, man. I see. A, I said it the other day. I see a white homeless man in America, and I got the I got this scratch my head. I don't understand. How you fell in the kingdom that was meant for you to prosper right now? How how in the world is our people getting killed? Your people not getting killed. Our people getting killed, and yet you laying on the floor, you white homeless man. I don't I don't know what to say to you. I I I don't know what to say to you. I feel like it's a joke. Somebody playing playing something on me. There's no way that you can fail in the kingdom that was built for you. But I tell you how you can fail when the, when this truth is brought out by the ICBK. That's when you when when they when uh, I know the answer or how they fail, man. You understand? Go read, what is it, 19 or 20? Ecclesiastes, chapter 19, verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. The fear of the Lord is what? It's all wisdom. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So if my father is a man of wars, it said, Exodus 15 and 3. If my father is a man of the Lord, and right now I ask, I ask, are you supposed to fear the Lord, are you supposed to love him? You understand? If this is your father, you know what type of father that you have. Your father is a man of war. You know you're supposed to listen and when he give an order, when he give a law, when he give a rule in his household, this is what you're supposed to do. If he say don't do this, don't do this. If he say don't do that, don't do that. We know about the question what it say, because a parent knows that we care about the love of our children. A parent knows. I used to get tired of it when I was a kid until I understood why my father always used to ask. Let me know the address of where you're going. Let me know who you're with. Let me know what time you're going to be home. Or as he say back then, be back before the stoplight turns on. I didn't understand it back then, but I understand it now because not only what happened back then, it's going on now. You understand? We're not safe. Rather, it's before the stoplight turn on or after, we're not safe. So we got to know what's going on with our children. You understand? Go and read that one more time. Ecclesiastes chapter 19, verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And, and all wisdom is the performance of the law. You understand? The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, man. You understand, black people, we got to understand the fear of the Lord, man. And the fear of the Lord, you understand, that's following everything he said because we fear what we know he's doing. It, it do to us. And Deuteronomy 28 is telling you all right there. This is a black man history book. It's telling you everything that he will do for you if you follow him and that we, we will do if you don't follow him. You understand, and I'm talking to the, to the brothers and sisters that's on this chart right here. You understand, if you're not black natives in the Spanish, you can drop dead, man. You understand, I don't care about you. Right? Drop down to verse 24. Verse 24, uh -huh. he that hath small understanding uh -huh. and fear of God uh -huh. is better than one that hath much wisdom uh -huh. and transgresseth the law of the Most High. Read that from the top for me, let's go. He that hath small understanding and fear of God is better than one that hath much wisdom. You understand? You're saying he that has small understanding but has that fear for the Lord, has that fear of God, you understand? He's better than one. That has all the all the all the wisdom in the world, but does not fear the Lord, man. You understand? That one that has small understanding is still going to boot up and get out here to save their brothers, understand? Uh, their brothers and sisters, man. That 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 brother, that sister, that got small understanding is going to build. You understand? With with guidance, they're going to build. With fear of the Lord, they're going to build. You understand? Go ahead and read, read, keep going. And transgressive the law of the Most High. And the one that has all the, all the wisdom, but still transgressive the word of the Most High. You understand? That, 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 that's like a Pharisee, man. You understand? You, doing, you, you, got all, you know where the truth is at, but still you decide to trade after the law. Black people, we know that celebrating these, these wicked holidays, man, ain't nowhere near what we should be doing, man, because it ain't never worked out for us. On every wicked, on every holiday of the white man, we still manage to die. We still manage to fall off. We still manage to do the white man's drug. We still manage. To, to, to tell our brothers and sisters that now nah, we gotta we gotta get high on this day, man. I'm out of this chill. You understand? We 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 gotta be better than that, man. The Lord look at look at us better than that, man. The Lord knows. 
That's how you know that we are the children of the Most High, man. You understand? Because he punishes us. He disciplines us. He's a true father. Right. If you have children, that's what he's going to do. That's what you're going to do for your children when he disobey you. Right. That's what you're going to do for your children when you find out they acting a fool. You understand? That's what you're going to do for your children. You understand? You're not going to allow homosexuality in your household. You're not going to allow drugs in your household. You understand how, how, how brother, uh, uh, a father or mother would say, oh, you think you're grown, you know what I'm saying? You selling drugs, you think you're grown, you're doing this. You can get out of my house, you're doing that. Because they're not going to allow it in their house. And before we even say it loud in our neighborhoods, you understand? The white man is a vicious beast, man. You understand? The vicious beast and the biggest drug, drug addict and drug dealer on the place of the planet Earth, man. The biggest rapist on the, on the planet Earth, man. You understand? The biggest work murderer on the face of the earth, man. And that's why we got to turn back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. That's right. You understand? That's why we got to turn back to these laws, statutes, and uh, commandments so we can know how to handle this vicious beast, man. You understand? All, all of them are bad. Every white man, anybody that's not on this chart, all of them are your enemy, man. Every single one of them, man. I'm not sitting here trying to find out if this white person trying to harm me or if this white man is not trying to harm me or not. I'm not trying to find that out. I know your character. I know your history, and your history has blood all over it. You can't see none of your history because it got blood. You understand? But yet you want to sell it in your school systems for us to, for us to sit here and teach and, uh, to our children and so forth for them. That's not going to continue to happen. It stops here. You understand? Drop that. Uh, give me 2111. Give me 2111. Yes. Uh -huh. You understand? You understand? That's not going to happen. That's going to have to stop today, man. That should have been stopped. You understand? We should have been. And how, how in the world are we going to celebrate so 4th of July when we knew what they did to us on, on, on 4th of July? We knew what they did to us in July. Do we know what they did to us in every single month and every single year? We know exactly what they did to us. How are we going to turn around and put on some, 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 some uh, Make America, America Great Again hat? The only way America can be great again is when they destroy, blown to smithereens. You understand? You got that? Ecclesiastes chapter 21 verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth the understanding thereof. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth understanding, man. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, getteth understanding. We understand with this, with this, and it's not confusing, man. It's not confusing when we open our eyes and see that, yes, I don't care how buttery that white man's words is, you understand how smooth his words is, I know you. Just like you think, you know what I'm saying, you know your man's and you know what he's going to do, you know the white man. Ain't nothing but lies and deceit behind everything that he have to say. Behind they, you know what I'm saying, why they talking to you? You understand, behind their back is nothing but a sword to slay you down, man. You understand? You got that? Ecclesiastes chapter 21, verse 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord, keepeth the understanding thereof. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. It is, and the perfection, say that again. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. And perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom, man. The perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. You understand? So having fear for your father, where you know your duty, if you discipline him, that's that's wise. You know that if you do this, you may you may you you might lose your son. You might lose your daughter. You understand? You might lose him to homosexuality. You might lose him to America. You understand? You understand? You might lose it to some if you know, if you, but if you have your perfection, if you perfect the fear of the Lord, you understand, you'll understand that it's wise to do that, man. It's understand, it, it, it's, to understand that it's wise to understand what you know your father will do to you, man. You understand? You understand? That's, that's wise, man. You understand? That's why we got to turn back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. That's why we can't follow anything that this man do. We brought it out in Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, never to trust our enemy. So once you find out who your enemy is, from that point on, you shouldn't do anything that your enemy does, man. You shouldn't do anything that your enemy does. You shouldn't follow anything that they want to follow, any, any wicked thing that ain't of the Lord. You say you shouldn't want to hear anything they got to say, man. You understand? You got that? Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God, uh -huh. and the law that endureth forever. And the law that endureth forever, so it's not going nowhere, man. Go and read that from the top. This is the book of the commandments of God, uh -huh. and the law that endureth forever. So in other words, this right here, this words right here, when they brought out the truth, y'all understand the wisdom and the understanding, and the love that's in between. Y'all understand all of it, man. 
You understand? And it endure forever as if we just read it and endure forever, man. So why do we stop teaching these to our children? Why don't we stop having that love in our neighborhoods that we're not going to let our sisters wear whatever they want to wear and our women wear whatever they want to wear? You know saying? You can't allow your woman to dress how they want to dress. Then a brother, it, 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 it's, a, it's a chain reaction. Because you let your woman dress how they want to dress, you understand? Because you got the baddest thing walking over that, whatever you want to call it, you understand? And then a brother that tried to go talk to him, tried to go smack at it. Now, you doing two injustice. You going, you thinking your brother's your enemy and you doing an injustice to your woman, man. You doing an injustice to your woman, you letting your woman dress like that and it's causing nothing but confusion. It's causing nothing but violence within, within your own brotherhood.